restoration for over there restoration so it's all it's got all the camera down there. I believe you put it once in track, isn't it? I'd be saying I'd be What's the date today? Tuesday the 20th of March, delivery time, next in Ferrari, California. This vehicle is fresh in yesterday, freshly delivered from direct, direct in from Yanomise. It's had a roof wrap installation on the top end. Rosso red, it was red all across. Being the hard lock convertible, this all folds away, but it's now got a nice black contrasting wrap. What's the part? The vehicle is booked for paint enhancement, but as you'll see, it's not that simple a job. Trouble is, it's Wednesday, uh, and for that level of work that's required, that job should be started first thing Monday morning through till Friday into the weekend. So it's Wednesday afternoon, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there goes the weekend, maybe a knock on effect. So next week's booking which is a white detail on the Porsche Boxster. Because of the sun, we're gonna be using filtrated water, but no filming for this bit, we're gonna crack on. where Terry helps me to align the car central to the ramp. Usually if I use that plug socket straight ahead, it's about bang on. But hopefully we get two thumbs up now. Yeah, one thumb up, that'll do. Final part of the decontamination process for the California. Clay bar, auto clay. Lifting, shifting, any surface contaminants that are bonded to the vehicle's paintwork. I've already done half of the car and there's very little there's very little here in the way of dirt, but it's still a process to complete to know that before you start polishing, that you're working with clean paint. Nothing. My theory here was, although the vehicle's only got 91 miles, it's still getting on three years old. So it's been sat, it's been stored, which is enough for contamination to set over spray. We don't know the full story. So AM Details Clay Bar, which is the only clay bar I use these days and have done for many years. AM Details Clay has come out to play. The rag company, dry me a river. Nutella crumpet time. This is a good time. The worst bit about this, the worst bit about this Terry is that these defects don't show on camera. So it's going to be a difficult story to tell. It's always the case with red as well. Red always looks orange or pink on cameras. Ah, oh, you can't see it. 
just saying to Terry how such difficult color to photograph. What you can't see under this direct light is the scores. Something's been rubbed. You really can't pick up. Here, see them? There. <laughs> Paint enhancement detail this. I don't think so. Difficult to start pointing fingers though, it could be the factory, it could be a third party, the car, although 91 miles on the clock, is pushing on three years old. But it's not a problem, not a worry. All we've got to do is do it correctly. Oh. Mm. Little girl is waiting there for you. There goes my weekend. Next 30 seconds, we're going to run around the car without editing or breaking the video to show the extent of the buffer trailing present on the Ferrari. This is the near side front wing, up over onto the bonnet. Buffer trails are pretty worse, uh, pretty bad in the middle there. Going in down to the door. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. It's such a shame the colour doesn't show on camera the level of the defects present all around the door up onto the top of the wing, down, lots of haze, lots of clarity being lost. Incorrect use of a rotary machine polisher, as I say, difficult to pinpoint where or when. All we know is we've got to shift it, remove it, perfect it, protect it. Correction, reflection, protection. Top of the boot lid. Around the badge, down below, around the horse. Haze, buffer trails, we'll try and get some 50-50s on this later to show you the difference made, but again, camera isn't gonna pick it up. Onto the offside rear wing, filler cap, up the top, more on the boot lid. Haze, haze, holograms, haze, holograms. Endless, deeper scratches. I think you get the idea, I certainly do. Look at that, what a mess. What I'm gonna do is flash an image of the after footage up now so you can see where we should be aiming for, or where we are aiming for and what we've achieved, albeit with short time scales this week. Finally, back on the front bumper. This is probably one of the worst areas we've spotted, fingerprint there. A lot of them semicircles don't look bad under this light, but under the main lights, they're pretty deep. They're scores, something's been, every panel, all a mess. Uh, all good intentions. <coughs> Is it Fish and Chip Friday yet? Thank you, James. With only 90 miles on the clock, this car is scratched to buggery. Look at all this. You take the haze, you take the buffer trails out in one clean cutting pass, easy job done. You're then left deciding if you're gonna chase all the deep stuff that's left underneath. My customer has literally seen the car for five minutes, haven't imported it.
from Japan. So the story behind the car, it is my customer's first Ferrari. 2016 vehicle, 91 miles on the clock. Why has someone left California in Japan with just 91 miles on the clock in three years? This is because the previous owner who had the California was buying a LaFerrari. Now to be invited to buy a LaFerrari, I believe you have to have one of each of the series of Ferraris. So it was uh, buy the California, buy that and buy that, to then buy the end product with it, which was the LaFerrari. So California has been bought, forgotten about, Put to one side, sold and imported for all the damage in the panels. It's very difficult to do. And it's a Rosso red, it's a solid red, it's a flat red, it's very soft. Some of the marks are very deep, so to chase the damage, you've got to make damage to polish it, to refine it. The last major panel for me working across the offside front wing, the bumpers, side skirt, rear bumper, mirror to complete still. Uh, done two cutting passes in the front wing, but look at this beauty that's left. This is what we're left with. Once you can, again, flat colours, hide scratches. There might be bundles of scratches here, but without the light in the correct place, you can't see them. You have to really work, really work with the lights. Although we're up against time scales on this, this is a bit sharp. It's in a bit of a, a bad area. It catches the light. Gonna need chasing out. Some of the worst marks on the vehicle, on this front lip, on the bumper. Lots of rubby, rubby, deep, scory, rubby. Ah, so hard to photograph. Anyway, as we go across that fades into a section that has been cut but this is a of a concern there's one left here that one's one of the deepest ones on the panel 
So what we'll do before we chase any more uh, is just make sure we've got enough lacquer there to work with. Positec 200 Advanced B Pro. We've got some ultrasound gel, some couplant. Need it for the two layer reading setup. Layer, not bothered about three layers. All we need is two layers, lower two, we're not bothered about. Total readings averaging about 120 microns and layer one, 84. Layer one, 84. Layer one, 83 is the amount of lacquer. Friday mid-morning, we have the wheels being coated and then the polishing is almost complete. Polishing, just got these little gloss black triangular sections on the mirror base to do. There's a good scratch running down from the top and then the haze around it is buffer trialing again from installation and factory. On a whole, the rest of it, it's come up well, but it's desperate for refining. We're gonna have to really try hard to get the right combination and the right balance with the refining, as I said earlier. It's been cut, it's been polished, now it needs refining. Sometimes you get away with cutting, refining, but this cut, polish, refine. Refining has started on the Rosso Corsa Red Ferrari. This is where the camera doesn't pick up the true color, but the door has not yet been refined. If you can work out the haze there, slight pink tinge, go onto the wing. Uh, maybe you can make it out on the camera. Rear wing has been refined, door not yet, so so this is the haze left behind. You don't often see people showing this, their own damage is left behind, but this is inevitable. You have to do this to remove the damage and then refine out to a glossy finish. What we are trying to do is add a mild polish to the refining polish, so the refining combine itself with a little bit of bite added to the mix to give it some more cut to try and help some of the hazy areas. It seems to be working, it seems to be working a treat. But now it's fish and chip Friday. This is what it feels like 
to finish the polishing stages on a detail. Very too soon. The gloss vinyl roof has the gloss vinyl roof has just been given a single stage, enhancing that that needs buffing off. But look, what look what I forgot. There's paint work back here, so this needs to come down to expose more polishing, but that can save but that can be saved for tomorrow because now it's approaching six o'clock Friday night. And I fancy the gym. First part of the paper, paint protection for the Ferrari is applied on a Gion base which is soon to be topped with Flexi, Duraflex. Interior wise, yeah, obviously a vehicle that's got 91 miles on the clock, doesn't need, uh, stay there, that's it, doesn't need a great deal, leather's going to be cleansed anyway. What we do have is there's a couple of sticky uh, I don't know, paw prints maybe on the back here. A couple of water spots. So yeah, all surface cleansed before we think about leather protection, fabric protection, uh, and doing the final trimmings like the carbon fiber, all that sort of stuff. By the way, if this is new to you, if this brush, this tool, you've never seen it before, this is a detail factory brush. It's featured on the vlog a couple of times now. It is extremely soft and it's perfect for this application. Lightly dusting down fascias, trim. Getting down into the cracks of leather. Ideally a two-handed job. You need one hand to prise the leather open. Short one is kept for interior detailing and that's got a longer one, which is exterior detailing and wheel brush. Information for the Detail Factory brush can be found in the description of the video down below, along with a discount code for Clean and Shiny to claim 10% off your order. I think one of the most valuable bits of equipment for interior detailing is air. The Detail Factory brushes are great, they're soft, they're perfect for de-dusting down and getting the cracks of the leather, but if you have access to an airline, this is even better, it's a contactless way the leather has just been wiped down with water to rehydrate and wipe the residues and soon to be protected. But air gets, air gets everywhere. You can flush the glove box, the armrest, the center console, the screen, all this without any contact being made to the surface. Now, if you've got a piano black interior, the trim, perfect. Not one car that leaves this uh, door after an interior job that hasn't got the airline used somehow. As an alternative, if you haven't got a compressor, perhaps consider using the aerosols. You can get a multi pack, six pack, um, links down below for the air blasters, mostly used in IT, but the same effect if you're a mobile guy without the use of a compressor. Polishing the wheel bolts, the chrome wheel bolts, a bit of auto finesse triple, a nice all in one. Uh, whilst we wait for the leather seats to dry out for leather protection, then we can put the hood back up to do the interior and exterior glass as soon as the roof goes down the next time. Bear in mind, when the roof goes down, the windows go down, the windows then come up with streaks and water spots. And then we should be about in time for the second application of the on paint protection, which is Duraflex.
Here's one way to speed up the leather drying process. So this has just been wiped down with water after the clean to lift any further residues. Now I'm bored waiting for it to dry. Heated vehicle blower. Good, okay, it's time for some leather protection. Also red Ferrari California T complete. This is after the white detail, but working to sort of a time scale. Today is Sunday lunchtime. Just wrapping up, finishing, finalizing, and uh, end of play. We're looking good. The vehicle has been turned around nicely, considering although it's such a low mileage vehicle, the damage still needs to come off. It now sits worthy of the vehicle with just 91 miles on the clock. Wheels removed from the vehicle, wheel protection, caliper protection, exhaust tips, the under tray, um, multi-layer ceramic paint protection courtesy of Gion Quartz. Duraflex, interior treatments with leather and fabric protection, engine bay, just get it back to where it should be. So thanks for your time, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far through, Appreciate your support to the channel. If you're new here, if it's the first time, consider hitting subscribe to help support the channel for plenty more videos like this and similar content and vlogs. Find us on Instagram, social media pages, Facebook, all that jazz. And that's about me done. Cue the music for the after footage now. And enjoy the shots of the Ferrari California.